Okay, here we have a simple circuit for testing ampage uh, with a multimeter, of course, and um, and this is simply a little test bed that's set up. This is a bulb, obviously. It's a headlamp bulb, um, 55 to 60 watts. It's rated at, so it should be around about five amps. So obviously, for an initial test with the amp meter, uh, well, multimeter amp meter, obviously. Um, we do not want to exceed the rating of the multimeter because we will no doubt blow the fuse or even worse cause some permanent damage so uh, we're going to take a reading of less than the rating which is less than 10 amps for starters so we'll turn the bulb on uh, I'll cover it up because um, it's quite bright when it's on so we'll turn it on full. Uh, I'm using uh, a PWM to do this, by the way. You don't need to. You can connect it straight up uh, in series. Any part of the circuit, connect it. Just, just uh, disconnect the the circuit and put the multimeter uh, between the two terminals, and you're in business. So we can see there we've got 4.62 amps. Uh, okay, that's that's near enough because it's supposed to be rated at five amps. So for an headlamp bulb, that's uh, that's near enough. So we have here 4.5, 4.6 amps, uh, and that is the current draw of the bulb. Uh, anything else above that, um, uh, okay, up to 10 amps would have been fine. Uh, if I was testing anything, any known ampage above 10, then obviously <coughs> I would have had to turn it off after a very short while. Otherwise, it would have damaged the multimeter. So now we're going on to test um, higher hampages using the multimeter. Anything over 10, you've got to use a shunt. This is just one I use uh, to use indoors on a dark, rainy night when you can't do anything in the yard. You can't do anything in the in the car. So this is just something I use in the shed. It's homemade, but it works. Uh, obviously. It saves me taking the one out of the car, so... But don't forget, every shunt is different. Uh, the distance between the resistance between the two main terminals varies with the uh, length of the resistance wire, so... It's quite easy to make and adjust uh, anywhere along the uh, coil, or spiral, call it what you like, to, to get a reading. So, we're going to pause now and... Uh, connect the... Um, <coughs> excuse me and connect up for uh, testing uh, more than 10 amps uh, to calibrate and to uh, make some kind of a, a calculation of the uh, multimeter readings. Right, back in a moment. Okay, back again. Right, the circuit's connected to the shunt, the bulb is lit, uh, right away, pull it on. Uh, and we know it's drawing 4.6 amps. We know that for a fact because we've already tested it. So now with the multimeter connected up to the shunt, as you can see, that's the uh, negative terminal straight from the battery. Uh, that one obviously goes to the uh, PWM or can be the negative supply of the bulb, whichever. And then we're taking the reading from the uh, probes of the multimeter as follows. Now the reading we're getting now is between 0 0.01 and 0.02. Now this is obviously a reading in uh, milliamps, um, very very small reading, but which is what the which is where you the multimeter measures. Now, <coughs> excuse me, it was reading roughly a constant reading of. Uh, I'll just turn it down so it makes any difference. Start off at zero and uh, turn it up gradually. We're drawing the amps. We're nearly full on actually, That's just about as much here. It's mainly round about 0 0.1, it does go up to 0 0.2, so I should say it's a benchmark. We've got to look at 0 0.01. 0.015, 0.02 even. 
anywhere between there is representing the 4.6 amp now you'd have to make a conversion chart now so you'd have to find out what uh, by dividing the uh, the ampage uh, so that then you could refer to the chart knowing that um, a 0 0.1 reading uh, would be 4.5 amps say roughly so this is a thing that uh, takes a quite a bit of experiment to get right but um, this would be only a rough indication so if I wanted to measure anything above 10 amps and I couldn't do it uh, straight from the multimeter I would have to use this setup to give me a rough idea uh, it wouldn't be exactly accurate I don't think because of the fluctuation now this might be due to the PWM um, I think maybe if it was connected in uh, without the PWM connected direct to the ball we might give you a more accurate reading which is what I'll do to try but in the meantime this is the idea uh, you need to make a conversion now of um, we'll just say for example 1.5 on the uh, scale point naught one five rather on the scale would represent uh, a reading <coughs> roughly four and a half amps so you'd have to make a chart up saying then that uh, a point naught three reading would be nine amps and a point naught six reading would be eighteen amps so that's the basis we're working on and uh, this is the only way you'd ever get a multimeter to measure uh, ampage for a long period of time if it's higher than the rating of the uh, multimeter analog meters okay they'll, they'll cope with 60 amps plus no problem at all but a multimeter won't it'll blow it'll fry so uh, this is a circuit uh, experiment with it test it and uh, in actual fact, on a cold night like this, and it's raining, it's dark, it's not a very nice night, it's uh, an interesting way to spend uh, <laughs> a few hours. <laughs> okay, more later. Bye for now.